uh, everybody comes here not necessarily with a purpose, but to find out what your purpose is, or who you are, or uh, I, I love, uh, um, who, who is it on TV? Steve Harvey says, find out your gift. That really works for me. And what it boils down for me is I'm here to make things prettier. That's what I end up doing anyway. I mean, you ask what I really, really like? That. And just, just the way that's floating in space, that, that influences how I float flower petals in space in a collage. There's gotta be seven or eight colors right in that branch. The, um, the gardening came from, well, I always was, just ever since I was a very small child, fascinated by flowers, flowering plants. But every apartment building I lived in in Boston uh, through the 70s and 80s and 90s, uh, if there wasn't a beautiful garden there, within a matter of a year, there was. You know, not only do I like to beautify things, but a general curiosity about um, seeing similarities in nature in shapes and in patterns and in occurrences uh, the same things seem to be happening in, 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 in different scales or in different venues over and over again the inclination for organisms to arrange themselves that way is there in some aspect that's mm -hmm. what makes me curious to look at this as an artist to to play with that shape I was uh, playing with a deck of cards and compulsively I uh, arranged the pictures on the back of the cards um, in the same direction and just, just for fun I just spread them out in front of myself and the minute I did that I just saw, I saw the images repeating so wonderfully. Uh, the bright light cosmos are the orange and the delphinium, the blue and the uh, black is uh, chocolate cosmos and a black hollyhock. Um, uh, I, I think uh, I, I think wistfully about this piece. Your life is like your, uh, a, a deck of cards, and you have the same soul all the time. The back of the cards is always the same. But every time you come back to this planet, you're, you play a different card. Sometimes you're the queen, sometimes you're the ace, sometimes you're the deuce. So um, it's fun for me to amuse myself with that concept. Maybe that's how it works. Who knows? If you're going to use a found object in a piece, what I have tested myself with and learned to do is to, um, it's almost a Lazarus effect, give it life again. Make it interact with the other elements. Because just slapping it down on the paper and having it sit there, it's just going to sit there and stick its tongue out at you. It's not going to interact. But when you can make the, the, the object uh, become a part of the story that you're telling with it. And th there has to be an initial connection with the object. Uh, um, <laughs> I, I can't believe some of the things that, that it just hits me. Uh, uh, sometimes things don't speak to you, they shout at you. For example, uh, there was a show that I did at the University of Baltimore um, in, in Maryland uh, it, the name of the show was Unique Beginnings, and um, my piece was entitled Skeleton Cranes Beach. Now, I had been to Cranes Beach uh, for the day, uh, walking around the sand dunes, um, and all of a sudden I came upon a pair of rotting underwear in the sand. And these things were just becoming the earth again. They were disintegrating. And so that's the skeleton on Cranes Beach, and, and it's just... It spoke to me about the state of man. I mean, uh, you know, eventually everything here returns to the earth. So, um, but, but it's funny. I mean, there's humor in it. And they televised that piece because they said, as far as unique beginnings are concerned, Mr. White definitely is unique.